After a months long trial, a ruling has come down from Commonwealth Court that could change the way your child's public school is funded. And a Cambria County District played a big role in the case. Our Jack McCune joins us live now in studio with the very latest. And Jack, tell us what the ruling means. Maggie, the court is ruling that all Pennsylvania children have a constitutional right to a public education. And under the current system, those rights aren't fair for every student. The judge also says the evidence shows disparities in education quality, depending on where the students live, because funding is tied to local tax revenue. The court found students in less wealthy areas are less likely to have the resources they need, including the Greater Johnstown School District, one of the plaintiffs in the case. Superintendent Dr. Amy Arcurio says the ruling will help her students, especially those who come from lower income families, to get the best education possible. The fair funding trial was really an opportunity for districts like mine to tell our story and how the lack of funding impacts the success of our children on a daily basis. The court ruling yesterday was what I would call a giant leap in as the first step to the process that we have been fighting for and really preparing for for about eight years. In a statement, House Republicans, who were defendants in this case, called the decision disappointing but not surprising. Leader Brian Cutler said the problems existing in our public education system go well beyond funding, adding that many of our public schools often lack real accountability and have become captured by special interests and bureaucrats who put their needs above that of the students. Well, our curio says the next step is patience, as the court says it's now up to the legislature and go the legislature, governor and educators to fix this system. I'm Jack McCune for WTAJ News. Jack, thank you.